<sighs> it's time. After a long time of waiting, it's time for What to Watch with Spencer Heyman. This is the first episode of my segment, where basically I'm going to tell you what to watch every single month. Because, frankly, all of your movie schedules probably got ruined, like all mine did when the pandemic hit. Anyway, besides all my personal sadness over the fixing of my Google Doc. So, yeah, I'm going to tell you what to watch and a little bit about it. Four biggest movies of October. Starting off, ah, yeah, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 3, where, you know, Tobey Maguire slash Peter Parker went dancing down the street with the black goo and, you know, did this. Yeah, I don't remember that movie either. No one wants to remember that movie. In fact, never remember that movie. Anyway, coming out first this month is Venom Let There Be Carnage. It is a sequel to the 2018 standalone Venom movie. This is a basically, it's a movie about a Marvel character where basically it's about a, like a symbiotic black goo that comes out of a meteor, lands on Earth, and uh, gets stuck on this guy named Eddie Brock. And Eddie Brock, basically, if you don't want to, if you want to, if you need a, you know, picture of him, it's basically Taylor Hahn, you know, the guy who's in charge of the news crew, <laughs> but shorter, older, and dead broke. So, yeah, that's basically what this movie is. It's about that guy and his, you know, kind of, you know, everlasting romance with the symbiote that lives inside him. And I also forgot to mention that this, you know, it's a, it's a superhero movie, so it's obviously about, you know, Venom and, you know, Eddie Brock fighting still serial killer who has another symbiote, which is named Carnage. It's basically Venom, but red and more powerful. This movie will be released on October the 1st, as I already said, and will be rated PG-13, although from what I've been told, it will push the limits a little bit and PG-13 can be. Next up is a film about a man you've surely all heard of. He's the most famous spy in the world, and even though he's not from America, is... 007, or as you know him, Bond, James Bond. I've, real, I've wanted to do that for such a long time, so I'm sorry. I know that was cringe. Anyway, the next chapter in the almost 60-year Bond film franchise will be released on October the 8th, and going by the title of No Time to Die. This film will be the final film to star Daniel Craig as the title character Bond, even though he said the same thing after the last two films, but he's still here, so what can you do? The next Bond film I forgot to mention will also feature Rami Malek, who you may know as um, Mr. Robot, I believe, and Freddie Mercury. Anyway, last but not least, for the big movies of the month, we have Dune. Dune is a remake of the classic 1984 film, also called Dune, and an adaptation of the famous novel, also called Dune. Fun fact... Dune is actually one of the main inspirations for Star Wars, which is why some aspects of it may feel a little Star Wars when you watch it. Any more coincidental, it has Oscar Isaac in it, who you may know from the horrible sequel movies, who, for some reason, Taylor Hahn likes. So, all you Star Wars fans out here, out there, please go hate on him for liking the sequels 100%. The sequels are amazing! You can't change it! Yes, we can. This film will apparently be the first in a series of films which are going to be based off the book. These are starring, I believe, Timothy... Timothy... Ch Chalamet? I can't pronounce his name. Uh, Rebecca Ferguson, Oscar Isaac, who I already said. Dave Batista, Skellen Skarsgård, um, Zendaya, and Jason Momoa. Those are basically your big stars. In this franchise, it basically takes place about this kid who's uh, Timothy, what's his name... And he's basically the, you know, he's kind of Luke Skywalker. He's kind of like the ho chosen holy man. And he's got to, you know, save the planet and his people, all that, you know. Stereotypical Star Wars stuff. Anyway, this film will be released on a second in theaters. And will also be available on HBO Max at no extra cost for 30, for, you know, like a month. So if you can't go to the theaters and it's unavailable, just watch it on HBO Max. You know, if you don't want to spend the money on it. Anyway, that's all for my show. I'll see you again next month, hopefully. Goodbye.